guys and welcome back to a new tutorial from me. I am Art Invader, a digital artist from Berlin. And today we will create modern art like this. And uh, yeah, I'm a little bit confused. My neighbor watching inside of my window. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it. Uh, a lot of artists create now glass artwork. It's not any more chrome material here, chrome material there. It's now glass. And in this tutorial, you will learn how to create tinted glass, gradient glass, milky glass, noisy glass. And uh, it's a really fun project and it's not so difficult how it looks like, but I give you the most important knowledge today about glass in Blender. So let's go, guys. The 3D, the 3D objects. 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 All right, let's start with the tutorial. But before we start, we go first here under the render settings and set the width and height 1080 to 1080 pixels to see our render region. And yeah, that's it. And now we create our 3D objects. We will start with this bottle here. And for this, we need a cube and we have to change the scale. These are my values here. And now, we have to make out of this a current state object so we can transform our edges. And for this, we have to delete this cube and go here to the line selection and select this line, hold shift and select also the line on the other side. And now we have to go to select and we have to go to store selection. Now our selection is selected <laughs> and now we can use the bevel deformer and put it under the cube. Now you have to drag and drop the selection here inside and here we can change now our values and we also need subdivisions. Perfect. And now we want to bevel all edges in our object and for this we need again the bevel tool we put it also here under it and here we change the offset to 7 and the subdivision to 10 and now we have our perfect 3d object now we build the hole inside of the bottle and for this we need the cylinder change the values to this values change the orientation to minus x and now position the cylinder there where you want. I think this position is good. And now search for the bool tool and put the cylinder and the cube under it. And it is important which way you put it under it. But now it's right. In the next step, duplicate the cylinder and change the values to the following values. something like this. This looks good. Go also under caps, choose filet that you get also rounded edges here to this cylinder. In the next step we also have to put a cube inside of the bottle and for this you have to change here in the four window view. Now you can see everything perfectly in line modus and for this we also need a cube change the values to these values so that the cube is perfectly inside and here we also choose a filet to round the edges because you will see it later on <laughs> when the bottle is transparent and yeah this is our first 3d object create a null object put everything inside and rename the layer to bottle one like this and now you can duplicate it, rename it to bottle 2, make the other one not visible and now you can scale everything a little bit down that the sizes are different, something like this. You can also check if everything is uh, also right still, but it looks good. And the difference between these bottles is the size and the cylinder here on the top. So create now a new cylinder, put it here also in the group, go here on the object and change the values to the following values, 
to something like this and put it on the top. Here we can also use again the four window view and we can make it also big like this. And don't forget to go under caps and also create a fillet out of it. Out of it. <laughs> So to get the reflections inside, we also have to copy and paste three times the cylinder. And here first we change the values to 15 and 24. And put it down, duplicate it. Here only change the height to 20, make it also to the right position and duplicate it again and change here the height to five. Okay, maybe nine. Yeah, that looks good. So now change back to the main view and bottle two is also ready. In the next step, we will create this type of bottle. And for this, we need a cube. Change the values to this values. And now we uh, have to create again a current state object. Here we also select again the lines, but first we have to select the other cube. And here we select this edge, hold shift, then the, this edge here. Go then to select, store selection, and now we work again with the bevel tool. Okay, go under the bevel tool, drag and drop here the edge selection. Here we change the offset to 33 and the subdivision to 12. And then we get this perfect object. And then we need again the bevel tool to bevel all edges. And here we change the offset to five and the subdivision to 12. And to get later on the same colorful bottle like this, we have also duplicated. Now change the view again. And here we have to scale the second bottle down. But for this, you have to change here back again to the whole object selection. And now it scale everything down to something like this. But as you can see, you also have to check this window. And now it's in all perspectives right inside of the bottle. Okay, now we choose again a null object put everything inside and rename it to bottle free. In the end, we create the cube bottle. And for this, we also make this bottle free invisible and we create a cube. Change the scale values to this values. And here we also need filet to round all edges. Here we change the value to 3.5 and three here is all right. Okay, in the next step, we duplicate it, put it a little bit up and change the values to the following values. Oh, okay, this is the bigger cube. We put it a little bit down. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay, now we have to look if it match perfectly here. Yeah, now it's good. So now we duplicate the cube again and change the values to the following values to something like this and put it up. And in the end, we duplicate it again and change the cube to the following values to something like this. Go back in the for view window and position everything right to something like this. And yeah. I think maybe this cube is here a little bit too big. Yeah, cause it looks like <laughs> weird if everything is in the same scale. But yeah, now it looks good. Yeah, we have all 3D objects that we need for this project. And let's move on with the next part. That's new, become part of the Art Invader community on YouTube. Now you have the chance to press the join button and get exclusive benefits. As a member, you will get the HDRI and bump and normal maps for all father projects. Mm -hmm. You also get earlier access to new tutorials. Bam! And you have also the chance to exchange ideas with other members. 
Let's start getting creating together, guys. The materials. The materials. materials. Now we came to the cool part, the material part, and I already take a good position for our 3D objects. And I also inserted a camera. You find it here under Redshift, Camera, and the standard cam camera. And press then on this icon that you get all the time back in your view. All right, and now we also have to create our scene. And our scene is a cube. And for this, insert a cube, scale it up like 1000 in all axes, put everything up. And now go out of your view, make uh, out of the cube a current state object and go here to the, um, the polygon selection, select, oh, in this cube you have to delete again. And here select the top and delete it that we get later light inside of the cube. Go back in your view and now you have your perfect scene for this project and go back to model selection. I also inserted some spheres, basic spheres here as design. And now we can open our redshift view to see what we're doing. <laughs> All right, it looks like this now. And first we add the light and I work with a dome light and go here to add graph and now you can insert a HDRI map. Press on the folder icon and insert a HDRI map of your choice. If you want to use the same as mine, you can find the project files on my uh, Patreon or you can uh, be member on YouTube. There you get also the project files after release. All right, then you go to the intensity multiplier to make everything brighter and I choose a value of five. And now we create the materials. And for this, you have to go under window and then you can create the materials. I already did it, but I will explain you what I did. First, we build our scene and here select first the cube. Go again to the polygon selection and select only the floor. And then you can insert only a material for the floor and the other parts are with no materials. And when you open it, I increase the metalness value to 0 0.75 and the roughness value a little bit. And then I inserted a picture, a cube picture in black and white. And I connect it with the base color, so the whole floor is in the same color like the image. And the base weight to get some reflections only on the white parts. And then I also searched for bump map to get the holes inside of the ground. And yeah, this is the way I connect it. Something like this. Nothing special. And this is how I created the floor. Then. You can duplicate this material and put it to the wall, but you have to select only the wall. <laughs> Drag and drop it. And here uh, I change the metalness value to this and the roughness value also to 0 0.1. And that's it. Or, yeah, and I uh, decrease a little bit the white to a light gray. And yeah, that's it. Now we create the materials for the bottles and we start with bottle one and go back here to the model selection. Select the bottle and the material is a gradient glass material. And to create this material, you need um, the redshift material to get here the presets and I use tinted glass. And here I played a little bit with the roughness value and the IOR I increase to a value of two so that we get nice reflections later on on the glass. And then search for redshift ramp. Then you can insert a gradient of your choice. This is mine. And connect it with refractions trans transmission color and subsurface transmittance color. And that's the whole material and drag and drop it. And now you get a clear glass with the gradient from the down to clear glass to the top. 
This material you can copy and paste. Change only the colors to a different gradient. Here I changed in the bluish tone. And then you can also drag and drop it to this bottle. Then you can also copy and paste it and change the gradient to something like this. And put it to the cube inside of bottle number one. To get this effect here. This you can copy and paste again. Go to bottle number two. Change only the color to something like this in the gradient. Drag and drop it to the cube here inside. And then you have the material for bottle two also. Now we make the spray thing here. It is also a simple material. You can change on the color to something red. I increase the metalness value a little bit. And that's it. <laughs> And then you can drag and drop it. Yeah, then you can copy and paste it, change the color to the color of your choice, and then you can drag and drop it also here. This material I also used for the cylinders inside of um, the cup. You can put it to all the three cylinders. And then you can uh, take the material from this object outside, from bottle number two and put it to the cylinder here on the top. And as you can see, this is not transparent, the cylinder here. You can also take the material and put it to the bool, so it get also transparency inside. And this outside material from bottle one, you can also put here to the bool tool to get here also glass. Perfect. So now we create the cube bottle material. It's again the same material, but here you have to change again the gradient and put it to all cubes to get this bottle. But here one thing is different. We have also a clear material, clear glass. Here I only have white color in the gradient so that we have no more colors and we put it to the cup outside this material that it looks like this. If you like it like this, you can also leave it. But I created here also a blue material that it's a little bit clear what is inside. And this material is the same like this red material or this blue material only change the color to dark blue. All right, now we create the material for this bottle or better said we already created. This is the material outside is the same material here outside. You can drag and drop it. Now it looks like this. And the material of bottle number two inside with the orange gradient is the inside of bottle number three. And now you get this cool glass effect. And yeah, now for the spheres. The spheres are material bottle one this outside material and this outside material of bottle number two. And that's it for the materials. <laughs> and today is no animation, but I, because I think the artwork looks really cool like this, animation would destroy the whole clean effect. But yeah, maybe you want to try something to animate. So do it. I want to see it, guys. You want my whole project files? You can get it! Become an Art Invader on Patreon and there you have the possibility to access this and more than 30 other projects that we already created together. And yeah, in this case, thank you so much for all people that already support me there. I'm really happy about the whole positive feedback that I get from you. That's it! Well done, Art Invaders! If you want to support me, subscribe to the channel or follow me on Instagram or TikTok. There you can also tag me at Art Invader and I will repost as a thank you your artwork in my stories. So, uh, by the way, you like this video? Show it with a like or a comment. <laughs> Alright, see you in the next week.